What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, I know what I said, but we're just going to just forget all that. All right, anyways, we got Gremlin State Season 2. We're going to be taking on Southern and Eastern Illinois to kick things off. Now, our offense has improved, and I wanted to go more under center this season, but that offensive line is still a work in progress. You're going to see it right here. Right tackle is our best tackle, best offensive lineman. Then guard, ugh. Ugly. Center, even uglier. So, we're going to be sticking with the shotgun formations. Not going to be so much of an air raid. It's going to be more of a, uh, excuse me, it's going to be more of a spread offense. A little bit of running, a little bit of passing. Try to keep it more balanced this season. But it's still probably going to be heavy passing considerably, okay? So, we are going to just figure things out as we go along. But we got to win more games than just one. We beat Southern last year. That was our only victory of the season. Can we... Go to their house and get the job done on the road. So first down and 10 are going to run that triple option as they do so well. And their quarterback can scoot. Williams, he can scoot too. He is our number one player. Four-star recruit. Don't ask me how we got him. Okay, does somebody got paid somewhere along the lines. Anyways, their quarterback in a roll right. Throw it back to the left side. Caught by their running back. And their running backs are the key to their offense. This team loves the option run. That time it goes nowhere, though. Fourth down and 10. We're going to send a blitz at their quarterback, and it's going to force an incomplete pass, but that pass was on target. The receiver probably should have caught it. Now, when it comes to our running backs, we have Johnson and we have Bush. Johnson is the guy getting the carries right now. You see he got some good wheels on him. Bush is also maybe just as good. But Bush will also be playing inside linebacker when we go four linebackers deep. And he's going to be playing nickel cornerback for us because, again, we are so thin. We had zero scholarship basically to offer because we broke, five broke, we ain't got it. Brooks to the left side. That pass going to be caught by Richards. Richards breaks a tackle. That is a nice run out the catch right there. So third down and two. Brooks under some pressure. Throws it. That pass caught by Weber. He was one of the best tight ends in the nation considerably. And thank goodness he wanted to come to our school. Johnson to the right side. He's going to pick up five yards. Second down and five. Johnson to the left side. Going to wiggle his way through some traffic for a gain of just two. So we need three yards on third down. Brooks going to roll right. Throws it to Weber. And that pass is going to hit him right in the kneecap. So we got to set up for a field goal. The kick is up and the kick is going to be good. So now Southern has a chance on the kick return to get busy and get busy. They do as they work their way up to the 35, make it the 36-yard line. They not, they're not going to give it to the fullback. They're going to pitch that thing. Bush is there, but not able to hold on to that ball. We would have been walking in with the touchdown, if you ask me. That's what it looked like. They give it to the fullback. That's a good run to end the first quarter. So first down and 10. They're going to go up that guy. And look at this defensive line, though. Coming throw when I need them to. Now they're going to give it to the other half back and there we go. Another tackle around the line of scrimmage. Third down, eight yards to go. They run it a third straight time and if that's what you're good at, just keep doing it and eventually it's going to turn out good for you. Eventually it's going to pay off for you. And there they go, running the football and look at them. The running backs just looking good. I mean real good. First down and ten. They're going to go up the gut and look at them weave through traffic. That is a touchdown. And there you go. There you have it. So now it is three to seven. Brooks gonna roll to the right side. That pass gonna be caught by Glover, and Glover makes his presence known with his first catch. That's a gain of two. That a gain of eight. Excuse me. Setting up second down and two. You pick up the first down right there. I was gonna run the option, and I cut that too fine. I cut that too close. Gotta give my blocker some more room to operate. Brooks to Richards. Not going to connect the dots on that pass, and we basically, I know we picked up eight first down, but it's basically a three and out. And out of fullback, he receives the pitch on the option. He's going to pick up a, game, a good game on the first down as they work their way up to the 31-yard line. And now the halfback gets spun down, but we'll have another first down. They fake it to the tailback. They roll right. They just got everything going in one direction and then another. Their offense is beautiful. Everything is in tight. Everything is predicated off of the run. And then you get a quarterback that can scoot like him. And he's going to scoot all the way to the hizzy. So touchdown. And we're down 14-3 now. We are in some serious trouble. Glover makes the catch right there. That's a gain of seven. From the 34-yard line under some pressure. Going to take off and pick up the first down. And we fumble the football. But it goes out of bounds. Now it's second down and 15. Going to pitch that thing. And Johnson down the sideline. And it is so nice. To have running backs with speed that's like 70 plus and above. I'm telling you, it is a blessing in the skies. Glover makes the catch right there, and that's going to result in a first down. Now it's second down and six under some duress. We're going to get out the pocket, 
and just run out of bounds to stop the clock. Seven seconds worth. We're going to go and try to score. And we go nowhere on the run play. So we got to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And we are now down 14-6 to as we head to the second half. So first down and 10 from the 24. We're going to take over to kick off the second half, and we need to score. It could be a field goal, but we got to score something. And that play should have went for a lot more. I thought, was, I thought the safety was going to take the running back. He did not, and boy, am I kicking myself. Because on the next play, we throw a pick, and I need my dogs to tackle it. And my dog's are like, I need a bone. I ain't doing nothing until I get my bone. And that is not going to work out well for us. So could we lose to the only team that we beat last year, this year? Hopefully not. Johnson makes the catch out of the back foot. Fumble! And how they didn't recover is beyond me. Thank you, Wagner. Looks to the right side. Makes one guy miss. Still plugging away. He's going to work his way upfield for a gain of eight. Second down, two yards to go. Brooks to the left side. He's going to throw this one to Richards. He goes up to go get that thing inside the 25 and hog tied down at the 20. Second down, 10 yards to go. Bush to the outside, Bush to the 10, and Bush works his way up to the six yard line. Brooks going to have him. Maybe we had Harris. He's like, I'm going to do it myself. Breaks the tackle, and that's going to be a touchdown right there. So forget the passing game. Let's run it yourself, young man. And we're down by 8. 21 13 is how the score. And their running game continues to impress. The offensive line keeps on resetting the line of scrimmage every single time. That's a good option right there. And it's going to result in a first down to the 43 yard line. Now they run the option again, and look out. Huge hit. That is our man. That is our guy. The Don Dada. He's going to be the best safety in the country. I'm talking about Pete Williams. That pass is going to be caught. Williams is going to be there to bring down the tight end, but after they have a first down. Now they run the option again, and this time the receiver receives the pitch, and even Williams can't catch him, and that is going to hurt because we go back down 15 points. So now we got to score, and then hopefully our defense gets a stop. Going up top to Harris, who brings it in, and that's going to result in a huge reception for a first down. Now Bush to the outside, and he's going to work his way upfield to move those chains. So we're in Southern Territory. Brooks to the left side. That pass caught by Harris, who will continue to work our way upfield slowly but surely. Now right side with Roland, throwing it over the middle, caught by Glover. That's a touchdown, and we're not going down. We're not going away. And if we are going to go down, we're going down fighting and swinging and clawing and biting. Yeah, that's a bite. First down, 10 yards to go. They try to pitch it. We're in between the football and the pitch man, but we can't recover the loose football. So second down and 16, that pass is caught, but shy of the first down to end the third quarter. So fourth quarter, third down and 11 from the 31-yard line. And that pass will be broken up by Lawson, and that's exactly what we needed. We had to get off the field, and we did just that. So Brooks, he has it. He's going to pitch that thing to Johnson. Johnson's going to work his way upfield for a gain of six. Second down on four. Brooks has it. He's going to roll to the left. He's going to take off. He's going to break a tackle, crosses midfield in the Jaguars' territory, and works his way to the Jaguar 39-yard line. Brooks it with time, slides right, throws it, and that pass was just a little bit too far out in front. Let's try it again, though. Brooks slides right, throws it to Glover, and Glover makes the catch right there. And he's not really sliding right. He's more like sprinting right. This pass is a Dawkins dime. Wagner going to do the rest. Run the catch to Glory. Touchdown, and plus the two-point conversion is good. So 28-28 is now the score. First down and 10 from the 31-yard line. They're going to fake the run to the fullback. They try a little end around action with the halfback, and we are all over that with our big impact D tackle Monroe. They're going to throw this one over the middle. That pass caught, and now they're going to weave through traffic like there's nobody's business. First down and 10. Going to get loose. The ball is loose, but we don't recover it again. Second down, four yards to go. Gonna go nowhere. That's what I like to see. Third down and five. They can go to the left side. And that's going to work out in our favor because we're there with Stallings, the former receiver turned cornerback. So Brooks has it to the right side. Running the option. He's gonna keep it. Gets out of bounds. But has a first down in his back pocket. Two minutes on the clock. Brooks gonna roll left. He's gonna keep it. He's gonna throw it. And that pass caught by Harris. And this is his first game in college. And he's loving college football right about now. First and ten. Brooks going to roll to the right side. Has some time to operate. Going to set his feet. Throw it downfield to Bush who hauls it in. And we're working inside the 10. 
So now it's gonna be first and go from the seven yard line. Gonna pick up a block, then break a tackle and work our way to the five yard line. As we first down the go from there. Make it the four. We're gonna pitch this thing caught by Johnson a little bit behind them. And we're gonna lose a yard. So third down and go. We're just gonna kick the field goal from here. The kick is up and the kick is good. And that's game. That is your game. They could not stop us. They ran out of timeouts. They ran out of time. And there you have it. We win game number one. Brooks did this thing on the ground and through the air. He kind of is that guy. Johnson and Bush, they combined for over 75 yards. Not the greatest uh, debut for running backs as far as total numbers because we really didn't run the ball that much. They split a grand total of 10 carries. Eight for Johnson, two for Bush. Will that change moving forward? I think so because these guys can really, really run the football. They need as many touches as possible. Now, I do think, though, that the passing game is what's going to lead us to victories. Now, I was going to change some of these guys' numbers. I didn't do it in the offseason, so I figured I'd do it before our next game. We're looking at Rick Williams. He could be a pretty solid inside linebacker for us. And then Troy Moss, he is like, yo, I, yo it's between y'all and Florida. Florida State, my other chance between y'all and Florida. Make me want to come to Grambling State. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to make you come to Grambling State. Okay, I'm going to try. This kid from, from California, he wants to go to an HBCU. And then Strong, kind of in his top four a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And then his right tackle, his right tackle is like, yes. Yes, Humboldt, Texas. He's like, yes, I want to come to Grambling State. I want to live that life. And right now it's between us and Texas. So it is doable. It is doable. Then the quarterback. It might be a long shot, but I need to find a replacement for our man Brooks. His only concern is that he might not play early here. So I get that. That's really high on his list. He wants to play early. Uh, he's thinking year one. I'm thinking by year two. To me, that's still early. As a sophomore, that's still early. So Johnson can get this two-game suspension. That hurts because, again, Bush, he's playing both ways. He's Charles Woodson this thing. Charles Woodsoning this, this thing, whatever you want to call it. That's what he's doing. Okay, he's playing linebacker, he's playing corner and halfback for us, and he might bring back kicks, so he's going to be a tired soul. So from the 27, East and Illinois, they take over to kick things off, and they're going to work their way upfield to the 29-yard line. Now their quarterback, who I believe in our dynasty was Harris, going to throw that thing, and that pass will be caught, and that's going to result in a first down. From the 47 now, sliding to the right, throwing it to the right side. That pass is caught, and it's going to be enough to move those chains. So can this Tigers defense contend with a more balanced attack? Against Southern, we knew that they wanted to run the ball. This team that can run with their quarterback, run with their halfback, and throw the ball downfield. That's what they do right there, but not with success. So fourth to two, they're going to go for it, and that pass will be broken up by Lawson, and we take over for the first time today. Come on, 33-yard line, going to run that option, going to pitch that thing to Bush. He's going to get chopped down for a loss of three. Now we're going to roll to the right side, and Brooks trying to get loose and he does get loose and he works his way up to the first down marker so we have ourselves set up second down and 10 from the 43 that pass gonna be caught by richards and that is gonna result in a gain of six he would get hurt on that play hopefully it's not too serious and then the Bushman coming to our aid with a first down run Brooks to the left side looking for Harris and his role might increase with Richards being sidelined so we're gonna drop back the pass here Brooks gonna roll right Gonna throw it over the middle, caught by Bush, and he's gonna say he crossed the goal line by the skin of his elbow. 7 nothing, Eastern Illinois. You guys could be in some trouble versus these Tigers. That pass gonna be caught, and look at the tight end rumble. Refusing to go down. Still on his feet, works his way up to the 49 yard line. Now that the 47 in our territory, halfback pass it looked like, but that's gonna be a tackle for loss. Then their quarterback gonna get sacked. That's our strong safety. A walk on strong safety coming through when I need him to. First down and 10. Brooks gonna roll to the right. Still rolling. Still rolling. I was gonna throw it up top, and that was a huge mistake. We have got to throw that football away. Is this is this what we have to do? We're just not doing it. That's a play fake. No, it's not a play fake. Fooled me in the game and, of course, during the commentary. And that's going to be a touchdown right there. So 7-7 seven, seven is the score now. This ball game is all tied up. Bush to the outside. Still has some juice in those legs. He gets some juice in those legs. 
Brooks gonna roll to the left side, throwing that thing to Harris, brings it in, and that's gonna do it for the first quarter of play. Play them drums for your boy. So first down and 10 for the 36. Nice design right there. Bush hits that sideline, and he gets tackled by two Panthers, but after he has a first down in his back pocket. From the 11-yard line, Brooks, he's gonna keep this one, headed to the pot line. No, but he got grabbed by the face mask. So I guess half the distance to the goal. First and goal from the one yard line. We're gonna keep that thing. And Brooks with a stiff arm to the linebacker's face and tiptoes his way across the goal line in his Jays. And then can we play special teams? A little bit. A little bit better than last year, but still not good enough to stop things like this from happening. But anything they can do, we can do better, right? You feel me? I know you do. Okay, maybe not quite as good. But Williams gets us up to the 27-yard line. Now Brooks under some pressure. Left tackle got absolutely demolished. So Bush works his way up field. And is that going to be a first down? No. Third and inches. We try to scramble. And we scramble right into the D tackle. And the D tackle is like, no, you're not going to beat me today. And then give me that Yahoo. Zay her. I said, give me that yeah, give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. So Brooks gonna go to the right side. Gonna roll right, throw it to Wagner Halls in that catch, and he's gonna take it to the crib. Touchdown, Gremlin State. My man dancing. He's having a funky good time. 14-21 Tigers on top. They're gonna throw this one up. Yo, quad, yo, that's basically quadruple coverage. And that pass is complete. That's beyond me, man. That pass, well defended. That thing will touch the grass. Third down, 10 yards to go. The quarterback getting loose, and Vincent is there for the tackle to save the first down. So we take over. Brooks going to roll right, throws it. Slightly behind Miller. He was able to readjust to the football and make the catch. From the 44-yard line, Brooks going to roll right, throws it. Caught by Weber, and he has enough for a first down. So we're inside Eastern Illinois territory. Bush making people look silly out there. Give him that first down. Gonna work his way up to the 24 yard line. Under some pressure, we slide left, we throw it. Glover makes the catch, and that's gonna be a first down. And Nick Lynch is feeling the effects of blocking for a college football team. Bush to the left side. He's showing off his power. That's why we can put him at defense, linebacker, and he, he could be successful. He's strong like that. Weber gonna drop a touchdown pass. I can't believe you. Third down now. We need eight yards. That pass is caught by Bush, but he shot the first down. So the kick is on its way, and the kick will be up in good. And it is 24 to 14. So we're going to start the second half with the football. Pete Williams working his way downfield. He's going to get chopped down after he crosses the 20 yard line. First and 10 from the 23. Throwing it downfield. That's caught by Richards, who's back in the ball game. So nice to see you. So nice to have great receivers across the, the, just the formation. And then we throw it to somebody else. Throw it to the linebacker. Forget throwing the ball to receivers. Let's throw it to defenders. That pass is going to be caught. And Stall is going to keep up. And that's going to be a touchdown right there. So we could be in some trouble now because I feel like our team is a little bit gassed. We are under man. There goes Bush. I probably should have took Bush out at defense or on kick returns, and I failed to do that, and I'm kicking myself about that because it's hard to run the football with him, and all of our other running backs are not fast at all. So I'm like, yo, with Johnson being out, it's going to make things difficult. Third down, two yards to go. Right tackle got beasted. I'm going to throw this one up off of the hands of Weber, and we got to get the ball right back. No, we're not giving the ball back to you. Okay, we will. Because we go for it and we don't get it. Probably should kick the ball deep. But should have, would have, could have, and probably just don't get the job done. They're going to throw it to the tight end. Stops on a dime to make me miss. And then he picks up the first down so smoothly. Stepping up in the pocket, throwing this one deep. And that pass is caught. And that's going to be a touchdown in the back of the end zone. So 28-24 is now the score. Brooks throws it. That's intercepted by guess who? Their outside linebacker. Looking like Derek Brooks from back in the day. And then that's a touchdown. Walking style. Too easy. Just too easy. And just like that, this game has been flipped on its entire forehead. 35 to 24 is now the score. We're down. You put Miller, one of our receivers, who's about a fifth string receiver, we put him back there at running back. Bush, he's back in the game at running back. He's going to get loose, and he's going to work his way upfield to about the 50 yard line and have a first down. So, first and 10. Give it to Miller. Looking for blocking, he gets it, and he works his way upfield for a gain of around 16, making 15 yards. Now Brooks going to roll right, he's going to keep it, 
And Brooks is like, watch what I can do. And Brooks getting busy. Now, we do have a walk-on quarterback with 80 overall speed. And I was thinking about putting him at running back. Because anything at this moment is going to have to get done so we can win this game. So we're going to go with the option on third down and goal and get across that goal line. 35-31, Grambling State is down by four. Eastern Illinois, they dial up a pass play and their quarterback puts it on the money. That is a marvelous missile. So Pete Williams, four-star recruit, my safety. Can you be my safety and come through when I need you to? Be my safety valve, and yes, he can. He can be more than that. He can be hope, not just salvation, but hope. You feel me? And that's going to result in a kick return for a touchdown. So we're back down by four. But they're like, anything you can do, we can do better. And when your offensive lineman gets to a, a receiver on your kick return team, it is going to be barbecue chicken, extra sauce. 49 to 38, we are down by 11 yet again. We're going to look downfield. That pass is going to be caught by Harris. He's just shy of picking up a first down. Third down, we're three for six. Make it four for seven. And it's like we're in heaven. We haven't faced too many third downs, but when we have, kind of been 50-50. That pass is going to be caught right there. Richards makes the catch for a first down. So we need 12 yards here. Under some pressure, going to roll to the left side. Brooks trying to get busy, and Brooks is going to work his way upfield for a first down at the 11-yard line. First down and 10. Rich is going to slide to the right, run to the right, throw it to Weber, and that's going to be intercepted again, and you can't win football games throwing four picks. It is ugly. I would love to blame Johnson for getting suspended, but it's not his fault that we lost this game. We had plenty of opportunities to protect the football and do what we got to do. We did none of those things consistently enough. That ball is loose, but it goes out of bounds, so Eastern Illinois will maintain possession. They go up the gut. Nice physical run right there, and time is starting to slip away. They get the ball to the fullback, and you know you're in trouble when they do that. Second down and 10. They're going to run the ball. And that's going to be a walk-in, untouched touchdown right there. That's going to put this one on ice. 56-38 to 38 is the final. So we win game number one. We lose game number two. Now, I may put Williams at running back for our next game. I may put uh, that walk-on quarterback I was talking about that has, that has 80 overall speed. I might put him out there as well. Just because, I, I even though this is air raid, your receivers running all those right routes, they do get tired. Like, like it's nobody's business. Like, fatigue in this is very, very real. Without, like, a meter to show you what's going on, they're, they're like, when you call the play, they're usually green. If they start to get orange or yellow and orange, then you know that they're, they're gas. And it happens a lot, especially when your defense isn't on the field that long. Because our defense gives up quick score after quick score. So these receivers get tired, and these receivers are, like, on special teams. They're running deep routes. It's just, it's kind of hard out there for them. You know what I mean? But I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know. But yeah, so we're going to figure something out. We would not win only one game this year. I guarantee that. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of the day. Till me again, my friends. Peace, love. Hot sauce.